This man left his wife after finding out she is pregnant, and his wife decided not to deliver the baby for 13 years until he comes back. A married couple lives in a suburban house. The wife is heavily pregnant. It appears that the man is getting out of town and leaving his pregnant wife all by herself. This realization alone causes the woman to be terrified, scared to be alone. The woman begs her husband to not leave, but please fall on their fears with his mind already made up. The husband assures his wife that he will be back in time to witnesses the birth of their child before leaving. The man gives his wife a jar containing some sort of medicine the rep situation gave him. Apparently the medicine is supposed to prevent the wife from going into labor until the man returns on his way out. The man reveals that the contents of the jar are enough to last for some years. Then he walks out leaving his wife behind the wife, waits patiently for her husband, and there is still no sign of him returning several years go by. The pregnant woman clings to the hope that her husband will return soon so she keeps taking medicine. Her husband gave her to delay the labor 13 years have passed since her husband left her. The jar is now empty and the entire house is in a huge mess. Since the woman can no longer walk on her own, the baby has grown significantly into a teenager. Even she is now able to talk and have conversation with their mother, but is still inside her womb. As a result, the woman's stomach gets too big, making her impossible to walk anymore. So she moves by, crawling around the house one day. The woman who looks like she didn't take a bath in those 13 years hears some noise from outside the house and drags herself on the floor towards that noise, thinking it might be her husband. She begins to call out his name, but when she reaches outside, she realizes it's not her husband, but a cat. Is it him, Mama? No, it's not, sweetie. She catches and kills the cat and begins to cut it up inside the house. At the same time, the woman has a conversation with her unborn child. Her child mentions how she is tired of eating the same thing, and she keeps mentioning to be born out of her mother's womb. The woman's response is that she doesn't know what she'd do if after being born, and the child left her all alone. Clearly, the woman is feeling so lonely, the child seems to know this, so she tries to comfort her mother by talking to her. The conversation ends with a woman promising that the child would be let out as soon as her husband returns later that night. The woman is unable to sleep due to pains from a large stomach. She tries to reach for the medicine that her husband had left her with, but soon finds out that it is empty, sensing her mother's suffering. The unborn child mentions again, and being led out of her stomach not wanting to lose her relationship with her unborn child, the woman begs the child not to leave her, taking that as a cute come out. The unborn child stretches inside the mother and drops the internal organs out of her mother's body, leaving only her mother's skin. The child starts wearing mother's body as a bodysuit. Now being able to walk around freely, she throws away all the remains of her mother's internal organs, cleans herself up, cuts off. The loose belly skin makes the house in order and enjoys her life. One surprise in the morning while she is making tea, she hears the door creak in which she goes out to look. She discovers it's her father. Ty is, do I really look that different? She tries to get answers to where he's been, but he refuses to answer. He doesn't tell her anything and replies in a way that implies she's been an egg. Where have you been? Don't start meanwhile knowing he'd be expecting an explanation for her flat stomach. The woman proceeds to tell him how she lost their child, but it seems he doesn't even give a underscore underscore and only suggests that they try to make a baby again. The woman admits that she doesn't want to repeat the cycle, but also she doesn't do anything to stop him. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one piece.